Hey, Laura. I wanted to ask you about something. Can we talk about your secondary school education? You said you want to go to the private school in the other city, even though it's far. Yeah, I did. I really want to go to that school. I know it's a bit far, but it's such a great school. They have an amazing cheerleading team, and I want to be part of it so bad. Their uniform is so cute too. All right. Then let's go check out the school next week and ask about the enrollment. No way! Really? I get to go to that school? But you said I can't go to that school because I'll have to wake up really early, and you don't want to have to wake me up every morning. I thought you weren't going to ever let me go there. What changed your mind, Mom? Well, about that, you won't have to wake up too early if we live close to the school. You cannot move within a 10 minute walk from the school, then it won't be a problem anymore. I won't have to wake you up and you can walk yourself to school. So getting to class on time will be your responsibility. Huh? Just you and I? I mean, I'd be happy to be living close to the school, but what about dad? Isn't he moving with us too? Your dad and I are thinking of getting divorced. We're thinking we should get divorced by the time you graduate from grammar school. After you graduate, we can move to the area close to your high school. Just you and I. What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? Wait, why are you getting divorced? What's the reason? Um, it's just that your dad and I had a big fight. A fight so big that we can't stay together anymore. We've had many fights before. But this one is just a bit too much. So divorce is the only solution we could come up with. Mom, could it be that the real reason is that you're getting divorced is because dad cheated on you? Flora, how did you know that? You knew that your dad was cheating. Yeah, I saw him holding hands with a young woman not long ago. I don't think dad saw me though. I saw him from afar when I was coming back from school. Is that so? I'm sorry you had to see something like that. It must have been shocking to see him with a woman out of nowhere. But this makes it easier to talk to you since you know the truth already. Your dad betrayed us by being with that other woman. You and I don't seem to matter as much to him anymore as being with her. That's why I thought it would be a good idea for us to move to a different city away from here just to you and I together. I'm not going with you. I'd rather stay here with dad. So if you still want to move to a different city, you can go ahead. But do that on your own. I'm not coming along. Don't bring me into that mess. Flora, why are you talking like this? Are you saying that you prefer to stay with dad even though he betrayed us? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cheating isn't that unusual. Everybody does it. I see celebrities cheating on each other all the time. It's not a big deal. He might be cheating on you, but he's still like a dad. He makes good money and buys me anything I need and want. Sure, but that's not all, is it? He barely spends time with us anymore. Well, if he wasn't making enough money, that would be a problem. But he works hard and makes lots of money. And that's good enough for me. I don't care if he doesn't spend a lot of time with me. Dad makes a lot more money than you, so there's no way I'm choosing to be with you. I'll be much better off with Dad. Hold on. So are you saying that you're choosing which parent to go with just by their amount of income? Is that what you're really saying? Yeah, I am still an underage child. I need to be financially supported by an adult who can actually fulfill the role. It's only obvious who I'm staying with. Am I saying something wrong? Well, then you should be picking me, not dad. What? <laughs> Are you kidding? Flora, work is different. You should know one thing. I don't have to know anything because I already know. I know that you only make little money compared to dad. I don't want to have to hear any excuses or lies from you. Just leave us alone and go live on your own. You're pretty much a housewife with no money. 
a housewife with no money. Is that how you really see me? Sorry, mom, but dad told me everything. He told me that you two are thinking of getting divorced. And when you do, he told me not to go with you because I'll end up having to lift you poor. I don't want to be poor. Did he really say that to you? I can't believe it. Anyways, no matter what you say, I'm going to live with dad. Not you. So you can go ahead and move to a different city anytime you want. You don't have to wait for my graduation. I have something to ask you, Peter. You told lies to Flora just so she'd choose you when we get divorced, didn't you? How dare you tell her lies? Betraying us once wasn't enough. Do you still have to keep betraying us? Hey, calm down. What's this about? Don't act like you don't have a clue about what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. You told Flora that she'll end up being poor if she goes to live with me. I can't believe you told her that. You liar! Oh, shut up. Flora is my daughter too. It's only natural to do anything I can to keep her. So what if I lied a little? I'm just helping her to make the right decision. Since when do you care about her? You barely ever spend time with her. How do you think you're going to raise her? You never really were there for her as a father. You always pushed all the responsibilities as a parent onto me. You never did much to her except for buying her things when she asks you. I told you to shut up. Stop blabbering on. You're getting on my nerves. So what if you never really realize the love I have for Flora? I'm still a loving and caring father. Flora's my daughter and she'll always be. I'll do anything to keep living with her. This coming from a man who cheated on his wife and never really spends time with his daughter. If you truly cared about Flora, you wouldn't go and sleep around with other women and get her parents divorced. You're just upset that she's choosing me over you. Stop taking it out on me. If you're such a good mother, why isn't she picking you? I guess it's not because you're so annoying. <laughs> you had a chance to win her back if she listened to you, but she won't listen to you. Stop blaming me for all this. It's your fault for not being able to convince her to be with you. I guess you have a point. I mean, she has the right to pick whoever she wants to be with. I'll respect her decision, no matter who she decides to live with. But she's at a difficult age, and you use that against me by telling her lies. Anyways, I guess this means I'll get custody over Flora. Don't forget to pay for the child support. $3,000 every month, alright? What the? No! I'm not paying $3,000 every month for child support. Yes, you are. <laughs> it's not like I'm making up the amount. It was carefully calculated from your monthly income. Peter, so that's what you were after all this time. You don't want Flora. You want the money. Money is the only reason you're trying to get Flora's custody. Well, she's the one who's saying that she wants to be with me and not you. I don't care what you think of me, but I'm going to take custody and you'll have to pay. That's the end of the story. Just accept reality. Unbelievable. You think you can use Flora just like that as a parent? You should be ashamed to even consider yourself as her dad. Calm down. Stop getting so heated up. Sure, the child support money is what I'm after. But it'll be a good thing for Flora too. Don't think I'm so selfish. What do you mean by that? I'm going to marry my current girlfriend so Flora will have a new mother. And she's not annoying like you. I'm sure she'll be a much better mom than you are and Flora will love her too. 
What did you just say? I'm not that annoying. I just have to be rigid sometimes as a parent. Anyways, if she stays with you, she'll only have one parent. But with me, she'll have both her dad and her new mom. So it'll be good for her in the end too. I think it'll be much better than being a daughter to a single parent. That's enough. I've had it with you. It's pointless to talk with you about this anymore. Let's just get this divorce over with and leave the house. Yeah, just leave. You don't even have to wait for the divorce. Get out of the house right now. Just don't forget to pay for the child support. <laughs> Mom, I heard from Dad that you're getting kicked out by him. Apparently, he told you to get out of the house. Is that true? Yes, he did. That's what he told me. That's why I started to pack my stuff and get ready to leave. Wow, you seem calm and collected, Mom. I thought you'd be sobbing and whining about having to leave. <laughs> Flora, I'm going to ask you one last time. Are you sure you're going to stay with Dad? You really don't want to come along with me? Stop being so annoying, Mom. I already told you like a million times that I am choosing Dad. Stop asking me that question. Do you understand that he just goes off and puts his needs before his family's? He cheated on me, Flora. That's not what a decent adult does when they're married. You'll be going to high school soon. You're old enough to understand the difference, right? I just want you to rethink this very important decision before you regret it. Also, Remember how your dad was never really there for you at any of the important life events. Yeah, but he always tried to make it up by buying me stuff. He's not all that bad, mom. Stop making it sound like he's a terrible person. Plus, what matters to me? Morris, who has enough money to keep me happy. If that's what matters to you the most, then you should be coming along with me. Yeah, right. You work at a minimum wage job. There's no way you make enough money to keep me happy. But that's not. Flora, listen. Okay, mom. Go start with your excuses again. I don't want to hear any of it. Anyways, you should be more worried about yourself, mom. Why should I be worried about myself? Because you should just let Dappy with whoever he wants. But stay married to him. Are you sure you're going to be financially okay if you divorce him? Why would I do that? No. There's no way I'm accepting your dad and his infidelity. How could you even say that to me, Flora? Well, I'm just worried about your financial situation after you get divorced. You're going to be poor without him. Stop being so stuck up and just realize that you need dad to live a good life. You should be begging him not to let divorced. Um, excuse me? Do you realize what you're saying? Let me ask you all last time. <laughs> Are you going to be okay without dad? You're going to end up all alone and poor. That's going to suck so much for you. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be fine because I make $200,000 a year. Uh, what? Are you joking? Thanks for worrying so much about me. I was worried you didn't care about me anymore. I'm glad to know you still care about me. All these years, I erased you was not in vain. Mom, what are you saying? Did you just make a typo or something? You mean 20,000 a year, right? There's no way you made 200,000. <laughs> Dad said you don't even make 20,000 a year. You only make half that. Dad told you that. Really? Yeah, he told me you only make 10,000 a year. He said you only make minimum wage and that's why your income is so little. Dad really said that? Yeah, but unlike you, Dad makes 100000 a year only by working four days a week. That's why he said that I'd be much better off with him than you. Okay, 
First thing you should know is that someone who can cheat on others is also a person who can easily lie to others. Don't believe anything your dad says. You think he's making this all up? Your dad's making $100,000 a year? By working just four days a week? Don't make me laugh, Laura. He doesn't even have a job. It's all a lie. What? He doesn't have a job? You mean he's unemployed? That's crazy. You seem to have believed everything your dad says. But the truth is that he's not working at all. He stopped working three years ago when he quit his job. No way! Are you serious? I worked hard because your dad won't work and I ended up making $200,000 a year. I'm the one who feeds you and your dad. And that's not just by cooking. I'm the one who makes the money that takes care of everything in this family, including the things your dad bought for you this past three years. How do I know you're telling the truth? Maybe dad is telling the truth and you're lying to just to win me over. It's true, Flora. If you don't believe me, why don't you go ask your dad? But he already told me the truth and you're lying. I'm 100% sure. There's no way he quit his job three years ago. Dad's been gone every day from early morning until late at night. He was dressed in formal clothes whenever he left the house. That's just how he dresses and nobody thinks he's an unemployed bum. But the truth is, he's been going to Grandma Jane's place every day. Why would he go there every day? What's the point of visiting Grandma Jane every day? He was visiting Grandma Jane every day to take care of her. You've been so busy with school activities and hanging out with friends that you haven't visited Grandma Jane for so long. But I guess Dad hasn't told you that Grandma Jane is not doing so well. Her health is getting so bad that she can't take care of herself anymore. What? I didn't know that. Why didn't Dad tell me? So you mean Dad is not being lazy and doing nothing all day? He's actually taking care of Grandma Jane? He didn't tell you because he didn't want you to know he's unemployed. But it's good that he's taking care of Grandma. He shouldn't be ashamed of that. It's not an easy thing to do. I'm proud of him. That's what I thought of him too at first. Um, what do you mean? Aren't you proud of him? I was proud of him for the first year. He was actually taking care of her all by himself. But he put her into the nursing home two years ago and kept lying to me that he was still taking care of her. He was actually doing nothing for these past couple of years. He lied to me so that I wouldn't be asking him to get a job again. So he kept using Grandma Jane as an excuse to not look for work. Then what is he doing now? Does he still go to Grandma Jane's house? Yes. He just goes there and watches YouTube and plays video games all day long. He eats takeout pizza every day. He's living the life of a teenager's dream. And in the end, he got so bored that he started seeing other women. What the? I can't believe it's what dad does all day. And he's been using the money you work hard to get to order pizza and go on dates with other women? Yes, but you still want to be with dad, right? I leave the house to you two and I'll leave. I hope you have fun living with your dad and your new mom. Hey, Hannah! What the hell? What? When did you know? And why did you never tell me that you did? I don't know what you're talking about. What is this about? Don't act like a fool. You know what I'm talking about. Tell me since when did you know that my mother's in a nursing home? Since about six months ago, I think. Huh? Six months? How did you find out? One of the younger employees at my work recommended me to get an account on Instagram. Then it automatically connected my existing contact information with accounts on Instagram. And your Instagram account showed up. It showed pictures of you visiting your mom at the nursing home. The caption said that you missed not having her around at home so you go to visit her there often. My heart broke when I saw that. I thought you were helping your mom out this whole time. I didn't know you had an Instagram account. 
I also saw pictures of you with the woman you're seeing. You three went out for dinner together? I can't believe you involved Flora. How nice it is to have a daughter that understands and accepts her affair. No, it's not how it looks, Hannah. Let me explain. What's there to explain? You want to tell me that you started to cheat on me with that woman because you were stressed out from taking care of your mother? I don't want to hear any more lies from you, Peter. That's not what I was going to say. Please, hear what I have to say, Hannah. You've already deceived me enough times that I can't believe in anything you say anymore. It's just be a waste of time to hear what you have to say. I'm suing you for all your lies. I'll hear you in court instead. Mom, please don't leave without me. I'm coming along with you. I decided to stay with you, Mom. I'll end up horrified if I stay with Dad. I don't want that. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you, Mom. So please take me with you. You sound so desperate, Flora. What happened? I thought you wanted to stay with Dad. I heard from Dad that you got a lawyer and you're going to take everything. He said he's going to be left with nothing. Yes, I'm going to get him to pay for what he did. In the divorce settlement, it'll be taken into consideration how much he leashed of me. I'm not a petty person, but I have no compassion left for that man. My lawyers will make sure I get everything. His parents also helped him keep his affair and about Grandma Jane being in a nursing home a secret. So I'm cutting off the money I've been sending monthly. Of course, being divorced, I would have no reason to send it anyway, but they didn't know your father is unemployed. Because of that, everyone is fighting with each other over here. They're screaming and yelling right and left. My hand hurts from all this ruckus. Plus, everyone is saying that they don't want anything to do with dad anymore. I'm sorry you're having to go through that. Dad didn't think he'd end up having to pay you so much money. Because he doesn't have a job and it's not capable of paying a lot of money. He thought he'd only have to pay nothing or something like $3,000. He really thought I was going to take it easy on him, huh? Even if he can't pay now, he'll have to find a way to pay for all of it. I'm putting in a lot of money to sue him. I'm not losing this case to him. Not only did he think he had to pay you very little, he was planning on having us live at Grandpa's house. Then, they wouldn't have to pay for rent and Dad's girlfriend has a job that pays pretty well. So, he was thinking of relying on her financially. Wow. He was going to stay jobless even after he got divorced. He really doesn't want to work, does he? Though his girlfriend didn't know what we are all going to live together at Grandpa's place. When she found out that Dad was intending on getting her to financially support us, she got furious and left. Now, we can't get a hold of her. She won't answer any of Dad's phone calls or reply to his messages. I'd be furious too. That man needs to get his priorities straight or he's going to lose everything. After that, Dad went to Grandpa to ask him to lend some money. Then Grandpa got angry, saying that it's all Dad's fault that Grandpa is losing his monthly allowance. And so Dad said that he's no longer his son and kick us out of the house. I guess nobody thought that telling lies to me would end up like this. They were all taking me for granted. And now see what's happening to them? I'm not going to let anybody mess with me anymore. I don't want to end up being alone with my unemployed dad. He's telling me to drop out of school and get a job as soon as possible. There's no way he'd be able to pay for that private school that he wanted to go to. I can't believe that he's trying to get his daughter to work so that he doesn't have to work. How low can he sink? He's terrible, isn't he? I don't want to stay with him anymore, Mom. Please, let me be with you. I don't want to take you anymore, Flora. After all the mean things you've said to me, I feel like all those years I raised you were lost in vain. I felt like not only your dad abandoned me, but my own daughter did too. Don't say that, Mom. I only misunderstood you. I'm sorry. You only changed your mind because you finally realized that I have money and your dad doesn't. Even though that's what I tried to tell you before so you could make the right decision, you wouldn't believe me. Now you take your consequences for your decision. 
I'm not going to help you out of this. I think I spoiled you so much that you became like this. You need to learn the hard way so you can grow up to be a proper adult and like your dad. Fine. If you're not going to take me back, then we have an idea too. We're going to get you to pay us $3,000 every month for child support. Dad told me that you're going to have to pay that much. Sure. But your dad and everyone else can't pay me any of the money they're supposed to pay me. So, I'll just subtract it from the child support money that I'm supposed to give to your dad. Which, you know, it'll leave you with nothing for a while. Huh? What do you mean? I don't get it. If your dad, maybe with the help of his girlfriend and your grandpa, can pay all the money that was requested from me at the court all at once, then I'll pay the $3,000 every month as requested from your dad. But if that's not possible, then I'll just subtract it from the $3,000 every month. Hold on, then that means we don't be getting any child support money forever? Yes, and I won't be getting money everyone owes during this lifetime. You hate me now, mom? You don't want to do anything for your daughter? I'm saying I'll only pay the child support if your dad can pay me the money I deserve to get from him. I'm not saying anything wrong here, am I? There's no way dad could pay you that kind of money all at once. Then I guess I'll have to subtract it from the child support money. Tell your dad he's lucky he won't have to pay me any money. No way! You're really not going to help me? This is the life you chose to live. Have fun living with your dad. I wish you the best, Flora. After the divorce went through, it was decided that the money Peter is supposed to pay to aim for him will be deducted from the child support. Peter continues to remain unemployed, so Flora had to get a part-time job while she attended her local high school but soon dropped out. She became rebellious and started acting out and often gets into trouble with the police. Peter went off to find another girlfriend who makes a lot of money so that he can leash off of her and stay unemployed. But of course, his refusal to work or do anything around the house soon caused constant fights and the relationship didn't last. Flora got tired of her dad trying to leech off of her too and kicked him out of the house. Now Peter is homeless and sleeps on the streets, even in cold rainy days.